November 2021. If you happen to visit Long Beach or Los Angeles today, you may notice something unusual off the coast. The sheer amount of cargo ships just off the coast stuck anchored for days. Some 65 cargo ships have been forced to queue outside two of America's biggest ports in the latest sign of supply chain disruption hitting the US. At the port of LA alone, the amount of cargo handled is up 30% this year so far, compared with the whole of 2020. With the Christmas period rapidly approaching, America and the rest of the world is facing an extreme supply chain shortage. The shipping industry is a backbone of international trade and the largest enabler of globalization. About 80% of global trade volume and over 70% of international trade by value happens by sea. 2021 has been a difficult year for the shipping industry. The Suez Canal blockage in March 2021 highlighted various issues faced by the shipping and logistics industry. China is the largest exporter in the world, with 16.1% of global exports. When COVID-19 hit China, many unfortunate events started unfolding for the shipping industry. Manufacturing came to a standstill due to strict lockdowns, leading to Chinese companies walking away from purchase contracts, which led to a fall in imports of raw materials. Containers that were coming in were stuck at shipping ports due to a shortage of workers. As such, containers were diverted to larger ports such as Shanghai, which led to increased congestion surcharges. Exports from China plummeted by 17% in the first two months of 2020, when COVID-19 first hit. As a result of this decline in trade activity, the entire global supply chain was impacted. Shipping liners were forced to cancel sailing, thus, empty containers were not getting picked up, especially in North America, which were much more needed in Asia. As a result of COVID, many people started working from home and studying from home, as such demands for new desks, chairs and gym equipment increased. Since most of these products are usually imported from Asia, demand started to rise. The US is the largest importer in the world, and as of 2019, 16.8% of Chinese exports were to the US, its largest trading partner. With barely any empty containers in China to cater to this demand, freight costs started increasing. And once these containers were in the US, where economic activity was still slow, no exports from there meant these containers did not go back quickly enough. Desperate companies fighting to export their products abroad meant their willingness to pay to acquire containers was relatively high, and they ended up paying premium rates. This led to shipping costs skyrocketing. Shipping carriers began rejecting American exports and sending shipping containers back to Asia empty. Typically, shipping containers that arrive at the US ports from China are emptied of their freight, then reloaded with American goods and shipped back. In October and November last year, shipping carriers began prioritizing the fast return of shipping containers to China over American imports. Containers that were shipped to US ports filled with Chinese exports were unloaded and then shipped back to China empty so they could be quickly refilled. Because shipping containers are being sent back to Asia empty, American companies are struggling to secure shipping containers for their exports and must pay a premium for any space they do manage to get. This means shipments are stuck taking up spaces at ports, which in turn causes delays with unloading full container ships when they arrive in these clogged ports. The shipping crisis extended well into 2021 with Suez Canal blockage severely hampering the global shipping industry. The Suez Canal blockage delayed movement of empty shipping containers to Asia where they were desperately needed. Due to the incident, delays of shipping containers arriving in Asia increased by weeks and put the struggling shipping industry back months. The Suez Canal crisis increased the prices of containers. It was estimated that freight prices from East Asia to the Mediterranean saw a 500% increase in the month of March 2021, compared to the same time a year prior. Likewise, the Mediterranean to East Asia saw a 278% increase from the same time the year before. Moving further into 2021, the shipping crisis continued. In September 2021, the Southern California ports, which are responsible for almost half of all US imports, hit a new record. The average wait time for the vessels is about 8.7 days, about 2.5 days longer than the same time the month before. 
The normal number of container ships are anchored is between zero and one. As of October 2021, the Port of Los Angeles and Long Beach, the average time it takes for an ocean freight to go door to door has increased 43% over the past year, from 50 days to 71.5 days. Likewise, freight costs have gone through the roof. The price of transporting a 40-foot container between the US and Asia has jumped 500% from this time last year to roughly $20,500. Ultimately, the ports are facing backlogs as a result of COVID-19 disruptions and a labour shortage paired with spikes in demand. The port of Savannah in Georgia is experiencing the major impact of the global shipping crisis. Nearly 80,000 shipping containers are stacked in various spots around the port of Savannah, which is 50% more than usual. They are running out of places to put things at one of the largest ports in the United States. As major ports contend with a staggering pileup of cargo, what once seemed like a temporary phenomenon, a traffic jam that would eventually dissipate, is increasingly viewed as a new reality that could require a substantial refashioning of the world's shipping infrastructure. As Savannah ports work through the backlog, Mr Lynch has reluctantly forced ships to wait at sea for more than nine days. On a recent afternoon, more than 20 ships were stuck in the queue anchored up to 17 miles off the Atlantic coast. One of China's ports in Shenzhen suspended pickup and drop-off of containers as a tropical cyclone approached the nation's southern coastline. Number of ships waiting outside the port rose to 67, the most since August 26. China's week-long national holiday has increased congestion as two of the country's busiest ports, Shanghai and Ningbo, where 273 cargo and container vessels were waiting to berth. Container rollover rates at both ports indicate little headway in dealing with the excess cargo. According to data from supply chain software company Project 44, the backlogs spell further product shortages and delays for businesses and consumers as holiday shopping picks up. It is estimated that 77% of the ports were experiencing abnormal turnaround times in China. Around the world, the worst performing port is at Los Angeles and Long Beach, where the average turnaround time almost doubled this year to 6.4 days from 3.6 in 2017 to 2019. Two months from Christmas, there is a serious concern that many products may not be on shelves by the holiday period. President Joe Biden announced that three of the largest US goods carriers, Walmart, FedEx, and UPS, will up their efforts to address supply chain issues. He stated that ports in Southern California will make commitments towards moving to 24-7, working during off-peak hours. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has said consumers could be seeing higher prices and product shortages for the rest of the year as the market works through supply chain bottlenecks and worker shortages. US economist Stephen Roach has warned that supply chain shortage may lead to a 1970s style inflation. The likelihood of continued supply chain bottlenecks moving from one area to another, which is strikingly reminiscent of what we saw in the early 1970s, suggests that inflation will stay at these elevated levels for longer than we thought. The current shipping crisis, equipment shortage and extreme container freight rates are just the symptoms of a deeper problem in the current supply chain disruption. The whole system is stressed and these issues take a lot of time to resolve. As such, this holiday period consumers will have to contend with higher prices and limited stock.